Hello everyone. So, this is a new thing that we're, we're going to be doing. Uh, Thursday therapy. Uh, it's going to be a short, it's going to be a short uh, thing. Uh, so if anyone's got anything that they want to talk about, um, drop us a line right, in the comments, things like that, or drop us an email. Uh, we'll sort that out in a minute. But I just want to have a quick chat. Um, new Year's resolutions. Uh, I know a lot of pressure, there's a lot of pressure on people. We put pressure on ourselves, don't we, to, to do these New Year's resolutions. And I'm here to tell you now, January ain't the one, all right? It's not the one to be doing dry January. I know everyone thinks, oh, well, I went mad at Christmas, so I'm going to, I'm going to, like, cut down in January. January is the most depressing month. It, it's the start of the year, and we expect so much, and... It, 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 we always we always get disappointed with it. So, and the weather's shit. You just gotta you just 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 do what you can to get through it. All right. I mean, yeah, cut down on your booze if you want to. Cut down on your on your on your eating if you want to. But at the same time, do the things that make you feel good. You know. I mean, don't sit and eat chocolate all day long. But you know, treat yourself to a bar of Toblerone now and again. It doesn't matter, does it? Um, don't don't be worried about these these um, New Year's resolutions. Honestly. You're just going to hurt yourself, all right? January, the weather, and especially today, the weather is appalling. You're, you're better off just curling up in front of the telly, uh, you know, watching, watching, go and watch White Lotus. That was great. I enjoyed that. Um, yeah, Jennifer Coolidge, man. What a, what a woman. Fantastic. Do things like that. Do the things that you want to do, make you feel better. Katie Norris is still in bed <laughs> this time. Do you know what? If, if you're happy... Then stay in bed. There's no need to be getting up and running around and always grinding. You don't have to be always grinding. You have to just get through it. All right? There are, you know, life's great. There are some good things. But in the middle of winter, fundamentally, really, we're animals. You know? And we should be hibernating. We should be, you know, hidden away, just eating food, trying to keep warm, trying to survive the shit weather. You know, and then spring will come around. Spring's the best time to start doing stuff. You know, R.W. Gill, comedy is my release. Gives me an enormous amount of energy. And it, it, there you go. It's one of the, it's do the things that you love. You know, don't, don't restrict. Don't restrict yourself, especially in January. In January of all times, don't do that to yourselves. It's shit out there. It's cold. It's wet. We haven't got any money because we, we went mad at Christmas. We all went, fuck it, it's Christmas. So I'll worry about it in January. Time rocketed by, now all the bills are coming in. And we're like, oh no, I haven't got the money to cover that. So you got that to deal with, you know. You said, okay, you know, my New Year's resolution is to stop comparing myself to other people. Yes. Yes. That as well. And we are all guilty of that. And the thing is with social media, and you know this, I know this, this comes up all the time. It's, you, you know that it's, it looks like everyone's smashing it. It looks like everyone's smashing it, you know? And it, no one is, really. Everyone's kind of blagging it, you know? We're all blagging it. Um, oh, mate, working outside is the best, Ryan Dalton. January is beautiful. You have the, this wonderful excitement for spring rather than this desperation for it. Yeah, there is that. There is that. But like I say, people, I think people... Oh, so the dogs out. Oh, who doesn't love dogs? Oh, I love dogs. Animals. Animals are so... I think they're really important, you know? I think they are. They just... Just to have them around. And I say that as someone who didn't really have them when I was growing up. We had a cat, but I wasn't around very much, so I didn't see the cat very often. But animals, man, they bring so much joy. I was at a friend's house last night, James and David, and they got three dogs. Beautiful. It was just night. They were running around all over the years. They were scampering. We were playing. We were mucking around. It was wonderful. You know, doing things like that is what you should be doing. So don't restrict yourself from from the good things. You know, I mean, unless you've you know you've smashed the ass out of it, you know, drink wise uh, throughout Christmas, then yeah, have a bit of time off. But you know, everything in moderation, isn't it? You don't have to punish yourself. And this need to just go to the gym and and go, oh, right, I need to go to the gym, and then you join the gym and you go for a bit, and then you stop going. The only thing with that is that you're wasting money. You're wasting money if you go to the gym and you enjoy it. Then fair enough. I go to the gym and I enjoy it when I'm there. By the time it takes me, it takes me a while to get there. I'll be honest. I don't always make it. It's it's hard. But once I'm there, I have a nice time. Uh, oh mate, Nashi, 
The only thing that makes January bearable is my birthday is at the end of it. Much love, mate. Mine too. 29th of Jan. I'll be 51. Fucking hell. Where did that time go? Um, that's the thing, you know, like just try to fight, try and focus on the good stuff. You know, don't, don't, that compare yourself to other people is so important because like I say, everyone's sma everyone looks like they're smashing it, but everyone's looking at everyone else going, oh, look at them, they're smashing it. Look at them, they're smashing it. And it's because it's what you portray, it's what you put up. Like, I'll put a picture of me up in the gym. And, uh, you know, and that's like, because that, and that's more of a thing for me as well to, to make me, to make me keep going. to Because I want to, I want to go. And I want to, I want to take care of myself. Because I'm getting older. So I want to stay, I want to get stronger. That's the only reason I go. I want to get stronger. Going for an Indian tonight, Nikki Harris. That's the way. That's the way. I had that last night. Lovely. Get yourself, treat yourself. Treat yourself. You know, all this restriction business, all this preparing ourselves to other people. Pack it in, you know, we're all blagging it. No one, no one, only psychopaths think that they're truly smashing things. Do you know what I mean? Um, what was that? Uh, Richie's drumsticks. I plan on enjoying more gigs, shows, and enjoying more of what makes me happy. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Charlotte Lucy, I just turned 41 and still get ID. I call that a win. Exactly. There you go. It's the tiny, the tiny wins, the little ones, you know. You know, I don't even get, I don't even bother now. It, in fact, <laughs> I look like I've come to collect the kids from the dance. <laughs> you know what I mean? I look like a cab driver that's looking for his fare. Oh, God. I don't get ID'd. It's amazing. I, I, you know, when you're in the supermarket and you, like you're buying your booze or whatever else, right? And, um, and then it comes up, it says, oh, you need to get, they need to clarify your age. Um, they don't even come across anymore. They just look at, yeah. And that's it, they just buzz <laughs> and I'm free. But, um, but why don't you jump up to just say, look, don't put so much pressure on yourselves. Stop worrying about what other people are doing. Like that was a brilliant point brought up there by uh, Katie Norris. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about other people, you know, in that respect. Look after yourself, look after people. Charlotte Lucy, a hipster father Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, why not? Why not? <laughs> Be kind to yourself, all right? You don't have to go to the gym if you don't want to. You know, move around a little bit more if you want. But like I say, we're in the middle of winter, you know, so you really should be hibernating. So, you know, look at, you know, don't, like I say, don't eat chocolate for every meal, but, you know, have a nice time, you know, just do the things you love. Exactly, Wellsy. You know, just just take good care of yourself. And then when spring rolls around, that's when we can start getting out there. We're going, uh, you know, we'll go and we'll start doing things, you know, like if you've got, a, if you, it's things like sending emails. It's things like talking to people. It's just things like making that phone call. And I say that as someone who really struggles with that. I've, again, there's a couple of phone calls that I've got to make and I'm dreading them. I made one the other day smashed it it was brilliant talking to the actually talking to the person i needed to talk to and they were like yeah great all right mate well listen we'll we'll see what we can figure out how good is that i felt amazing i felt like i'd achieved something it was fantastic so do that just do the little things you don't have to be smashing it you don't have to be out there grinding you know you don't have to be out there you know like you're some fucking prick with abs don't worry about all that just go out there, do the things that you love to do, take care of yourself, wrap up, wrap yourself up, watch some shit telly, watch a film, see friends, go and meet them for a coffee. When they say, do you want a coffee? Go, yeah, I'll meet you for a coffee. Things like that, little things, it's just little victories, that's it. Uh, what we got here, um, if a critical inner voice would work, it would have worked by now. Approaching ourselves with kindness can't be a bad thing, exactly, exactly. You know, your inner voice is always gonna be a little bit negative. It's always going to be, it always is, because yeah, I think it comes to that, it's that fundamental thing of, uh, we always kind of err on the side of negativity, because we, you know, that's what that's our survival mechanism, isn't it? So that's what keeps us alive. I think, that's what I read somewhere, a brief clip on Twitter, <laughs> like I've read some big fat book. Um, yeah, my point is, it's Thursday therapy. If you haven't made resolutions, don't worry about it, it's all fine. Let's all find our mojos, Caroline. There you go, Caroline. But yeah, just bought bikini and not bikini body rep. Listen, those, those, this is the thing, isn't it? With that, with that beach body ready bullshit. Fuck, you, 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 have you, have you ever met someone that's got a body like that? There's very few, very few people that are like that, that are interesting to be around. I can count on one hand the people that I know that look like that, that are actually good fun. 
The rest of them are just tedious pricks telling me about how much lettuce they've had for the day. I don't give a shit. You know, what's that? Uh, I'm out with you. I left my job without anything else to move into. Um, money comes second to treat you like shit. Exactly. Put yourself first. Don't let people treat you like shit. It's not worth it. Celebrate ourselves rather than criticise ourselves. Exactly. Um, band biographies. I've come. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, do that. Why not? <laughs> um... But what was I saying? Yeah, so these people with the with these bodies, these perfectly ripped bodies, because that's all they do all day. That's all they do. You go to the gym, you know. They're always that's what they do all day. That's you know they, they there's very very little else to, that they do. So you know, I think I'm I I think people are more attractive just in their natural state. You know, it's not about it's not about really what you look like. It's about what you project, the energy you give off. If you're giving off a good energy, people want to be around you. You know, is this it? What is it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you finished typing now. I see. I've come to accept I'll never have abs because I have been. I have. I like beer and having fun too much. I exercise a bunch of times a week, but just for maintenance. Exactly. I'm glad you finished that sentence because it just said I've come. I was like, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, health looks different on all of us individually. Exactly. Uh, yeah, that's right. Nice one. <laughs> Exactly. I think people it, 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 people are attracted to they'd be more attracted to you when you know you're when you're feeling good about yourself when you're projecting a good energy. It's not about it's not about having abs. It's not about having you know. I mean, look at some of the people out there that you know you go that they are you know they are attractive or they look fun. Someone like look at Jack Black for example. I don't know, but Jack Black you know he's a he's a sizable dude, but. You know, confident as fuck. He's always messing around. He's doing. He doesn't. He doesn't worry about it. He's always got his top off. You know. So don't worry about being beach body ready. Fuck that. Positive pants on. Exactly. You know. You're all beautiful in your own special individual ways. I know that sounds wanky, but it, you are. You know. You don't need to have abs. You don't need to be two stone. You know. Balo. Oh my, bought my son. I just get by on my pretty smile. You do, Bailey. You, Bailey. You get away with fucking murder, mate. You know. I'm glad. I'm glad I made you. Yeah, you were. Uh, yeah, you confident little shit. Get a job. Anyway, um, no, I'm only joking. Um, yeah, listen, take good care of yourselves. All right. This is this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this every Thursday. I'm gonna put out. We're gonna do these videos. So if you want, if you've got something you want to talk about, drop me a line. Um, I tell you what, drop me a line. On you can either message me on Instagram. You can message me on Twitter. Uh, you can message me anywhere, or you can get me on Rich Wilson Comedian at googlemail.com. Drop me an email and we'll go through it. And if it's something you want to talk about, and bear in mind, I'm not a therapist, all right? I'm just a chunky dude in a recording studio who just wants to try and help people. That's it, basically. And by helping people, I help myself as well because these things I'm telling you, I'm telling myself as well. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm telling that to myself as well. Uh, ah, listen. Yeah, Gerard. Ah, uh, mate, I'm really sorry to hear about my friend Gerard. Um, Sending all the love and positive vibes. I hope he get, I hope he fights it. I hope he gets well, because that was that was really shocking to see that. Really sorry, uh, Lexi Fitz. I go to the gym alive and lift heavy shit. I'm never going to be skinny. Don't want to be. Exactly, exactly. You only go to the gym to stay to get strong. That's it, really. Just to, just like I said, maintenance earlier. Just to keep keep yourself lifted. Keep you know so you don't you don't seize up. You know you stay strong because it's important to stay strong. Because my nan didn't. And she, and she, you know, she ended up just bedridden, not able to move, not able to do anything, because all her muscles just wasted away. So, you know, it's important to move around. Of course it is. But don't forget, we're in the middle of January and it's fucking shit. So don't put any pressure on yourselves. Watch White Lotus. Watch a decent film. Watch Batman. That's three million hours long. <laughs> oh, God. Just, just look after yourselves, all right? Raise awareness of butt cancer. Fucking A. Hey. I we I don't I genuinely don't know I don't know how do you how do you take care to not to not get these things how do you know this is it's it's, it's fucking sad man I've known a few people that have succumbed to cancer and it's it's brutal and again like I'm saying like be gentle to yourself but also yeah don't go fucking mad don't like chocolate and God knows what into your body it's all about balance isn't it everything's about balance looking after yourself. You know, it's everything in moderation. But you can have too much water in your fucking brain swells up, so you've got to be careful. It's all, 
it, I'm rambling now and I'm going off on one. Too many, too many things, too many things I want to say. My point is, look after yourselves, all right? Take good care of yourselves, all right? New Year's resolutions, bin them off, fuck that shit, all right? Everything in moderation. If you want a biscuit, have a biscuit, all right? But just, you know, don't have them all. <laughs> but listen, this has been great. Um, my son, Jazz is my workout, six hours in the studio the other day. Good lad, proud of you. Proud of you, my boy. Well done, sir. Well done. George Aston, geezer. Hello, mate. How you doing? Get in touch. We need to go for a pint. Um, yeah, drop me a line, babes. Drop me a line, all of you. All right? Drop me a line, babes. <laughs> I, I really care about people, and I care about you. And if you want to have a chat about something, drop me a line, and we'll have a chat. All right? Every Thursday, I'm going to do this. I'm not sure what time. I'll let you know. All right? But look after yourselves. Don't be so hard on yourselves. Fuck the fucking resolutions off. Go to the gym. Don't go to the gym. Put some fucking music on and have a little bit of a dance around your kitchen. There you go. Right. I love you all. See you later on.